The X Define drama has been blowing up right now. We ended up getting reports from Tom about the work culture, the crunch, and guys, there's a video that I want to show you as well. And in this report, it talks about the boys club, right? AKA the toxic game devs, the diversity hires, yeah. the ESG score, and them chasing Call of Duty. And that issued, that made Ubisoft issue a response today. And in this one, they talk about the fact that they were supposed to launch the game by the end of march but apparently now they gotta delay it at this point brad we're gonna get gta 6 before like the video if you think we're gonna get gta 6 before x defined but check this out and, and wait for it roll it i'm saying this but we actually have an update from the x defying team oh, now wow. as you guys know this past week has been pretty crazy for x defying because typically we hear nothing about the game then this past week we started getting a bunch of things coming from industry insiders as well as anonymous people working on the team claiming that x defiant is in a pretty bad state right now oh, not only man. the state of the development of the game but also how the people making the game are being treated and how the game itself is trying to chase call of duty so much that's actually becoming a huge detriment to the game overall i've covered that at, at this point is anybody shocked and surprised like bad news is basically <laughs> everywhere in the gaming industry for all the games what the hell is going on where are the games where are the games but wait for it we gotta talk about a lot of diversity stuff in just a little bit diversity they they you know, I mean, strong and independent, strong and empowering. In previous videos, but amongst all of that, Mark Rubin did say that there was an update coming soon, and today uh -huh. we finally got it. Though yes. I don't think yes. you guys are really going to like it as much as you would hope. So here we see Defiance. First and foremost, thank you for your continued support for X Defiant. We are proud to have such a passionate community, and we thank you for your participation in our test phases, including our insider sessions. One little note before we go on here, the last time they had one of those was back in September of 2023. We're talking six months ago was Man. the last time we had a community. Dog, six months ago, right? I, I don't even remember like when they came out with like their first friendly UAV online. Uh, uh, Brad, they, uh, Activision is going to be putting out... They're gonna be putting out a secondary friendly UAV online, bruh. Six months! Y'all sick is crazy! Y'all sick is crazy right now! What the hell is going on, bruh? play session but continuing on here this game wait has always it, been community it. first with player feedback as a top priority while we hoped to go live by the end of march there are still some improvements that we need to test before that we're finishing preparation for a 12 hour server test session that will be worldwide on playstation xbox series x and s as well as pc the goal for this test is to stress our servers and get critical data to prepare us for launch this is where we need your help to test our servers as much as possible as always, feedback on your experience is important to us. After this short test, we expect to be able to lock a launch day and start sharing more about the exciting content X Defiant has to oh, wow. offer in uh -huh. the future. Right. Thank you again for standing with us. We will be back once we are ready to share more news, the X Defiant team. So they're going to be having this big 12-hour server test session for all the platforms. It's obviously going to be free. X Defiant's a free game yeah, after wow. all. Anyone can jump in and just try to basically <laughs> break the servers by oh, getting man. as many people in there as okay, you Okay, honestly, that's good. So they're gonna run a test for 12 hours. That's good. Okay, W, rare, rare. But it's a W. I mean, rare or ultra rare or common, a W is a W. Like the video for a, for a dub. And listen, gamers are not against like delays or, uh, y you know what I mean? Take as much time you need, but dog, like, can a brother please perhaps get it already? It's like we have been getting cock blocked for like a solid year and a half right now with this game. Extremely possible so they can get a bunch of critical feedback and data on their end. That sounds fantastic. But one thing, yeah, did you guys yeah, notice yeah. from there? We didn't get a date for that 12 hour server test within that message right there. So basically the message is there's going to be like a big 12 hour service yeah. test in the future. Yeah. We just don't know when yet, when? but yeah. after that point, we'll probably have a better idea of when the release date is going to be. So yeah. basically they said, just keep on waiting because in the future, yeah, that 12 hour uh, beta test can come after GTA six has yeah. released and the game might release before GTA seven. Yeah. Good calls. Boys. Something's going to happen. And when that happens, that will give us more of an idea yeah. of what's going to happen even further in the future damn is this game ever coming man like i really I just yet. want x defiant it was fantastic it took the fps community by storm back it in the did. summer because a lot I, I genuinely feel like that if this game were to release like all the way back 
or you know what like early like even around this time i think would be good because genuinely think about it for a second right like if we get x defined and wait for it i got a, a bunch of other stuff that i want to show you uh, and i gotta show you the plot twist and the climax but think about it for a second right if had it been we had x defined now or last time when it was popping it would be would be just much much better i think that they would be able to uh, get a lot of a lot more of the call of duty refugees because call of duty refugees they are looking for another game to migrate to right the finals came out and surely the finals is amazing not denying that hell divers is really really good but both of these games are not catering to like all of the call of duty fan base because call of duty fan base is different right call of duty fan base is they prefer arcadey fast-paced shooters with a lot more adrenaline and action right that's what call of duty players want it's like the mcdonald's version of video games right let's be real and it, it's both bad and good right I, I wouldn't say it's like purely bad but but like seconds do one a fast-paced shooter the finals is good but it's not that the hell divers is good but it's completely different and and listen it's not like hell divers issue it's not the finals issue because those devs made the games for their own target audience they weren't really i mean let's be real they wanted a little bit of the call of duty players as well like don't get me wrong but they weren't clearly they weren't trying to target all of the call of duty players right they were trying to come out with their own identity and i can respect that it's not a knock at the finals or hell divers it's just that call of duty players are just looking for a game that's similar to call of duty but it's not call of duty and that doesn't have skill based management and not the issues and they basically want devs to be like caring uh, for the games and the fans right they don't want like the devs to constantly uh, talk about it or respond but they want like a little bit of that connection and and you know what like when you give and the players when you and i when we give over feedback it's like heard because with infinity tard what those suckers did that hey give us your feedback and then later on they came out and decided that we're not gonna do anything Bruh. they literally came out and literally pissed on our heads that happened and, and x defined situation has been blowing up for a while right so tom henderson came out says that you know what they are chasing call of duty then uh, mark rubin the main guy behind x defined then came forward said that it's not true then quickly after and tom henderson dropped a nuclear nuclear bomb and he dropped this report and it's a massive article right he talks about the boys club and, and he says that there are select few individuals who cause constant problems for the game's development and the term was collectively agreed upon by some members of the team to feel a sense of camaraderie but a couple of years later that group grew, grew to a dozen or so and in this one i read it it's gonna be a little bit hard to find it i believe it's right here that they apparently uh, but it's the lack of work ethic and unpleasant behavior and the egos from the individuals that have created a really unhealthy place to work said sources one member has no design experience or people experience and has been given directorial powers because of personal friendships now listen okay i'm not one of those guys that would be like okay fired this individual no 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 it's not that but let's be objective here the person has no design experience the person has no experience and he has been given like directorial position like holy crap okay had it been he was given like a qa testing position right or he was given like a small position understandable but directorial somebody that's gonna have influence on how the game turns out could you imagine like a person with no gaming experience or no experience whatsoever about how gaming works or what the gamers want and especially in this field what the fps gamers want could you imagine giving them the entire power that's like that's bread Bruh. like so they are clearly doing it uh, they're doing diversity hires and diversity hires is not the issue the forced diversity is the issue and hiring people based on their preference and skin color rather than their actual talent right that that's like obviously the game is gonna fail then right if like all uh what we're seeing across the industry most of the games are failing because the devs and the people that they're hiring for the higher positions they're not even gamers they don't even like gamers they hate gamers and they don't even know what the hell they're doing and why somebody would like their product and the and, and the game right and they, these suckers are given these directorial position no wonder why the games are flopping the way they are and you look at something like hell 
diverse, the devs are completely passionate about it, and you know what, you clearly see the games blowing up right now, and you see people playing it, people loving it, and no one is saying bad things about uh, Hell Divers. the only thing you're gonna hear uh, is that uh, either you're loving the game or you're not into it, which is perfectly fine, because Hell Divers is not for everybody, and I'm one of the guys, I'm one of those guys that haven't tried Hell Divers. I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, cool, but it's not for me, right? But then I hear feedback, and then I hear players' uh, uh, experience and their testimony, uh, and I'm like, holy shit, like, people that are playing are actually loving it so they are definitely doing something good and then the numbers speaks for uh, itself as well and, and it, this is such a crazy report to me that uh, they, they had this person because of personal friendship Bruh. and were given directorial powers I mean holy crap if this game fails then I guess we know why of us are just getting burnt out on the current stuff that's out there and x defiant offered something a little bit different it was a bit more relaxed it was interesting the factions the gunplay like everything about it felt good and that was about a year ago so you would hope that by now it's even more refined the servers are better weapon balance is better also, gunplay is better hit detection i mean mark rubin is the hope right now because those of you that do not know mark rubin actually was at infinity war uh, back in the good good old days of modern warfare 20 uh, 2009 not sure if he worked on cod for or not but uh, he was the face of the original modern warfare uh 2011 the original modern warfare 3 that came out back in 2011 not the recent modern warfare 3 with like uh, bbc bundles or uh, fairly you know what i'm saying like not not that and all that like i'm excited to actually try this out but again yeah, yeah the yeah. entire update they gave us today was in the future something is gonna happen and yeah. then when that happens we'll have more of an idea when more things can happen even further in the future after that like it's not really much of an update so that's pretty mm -hmm. Unfortunate. That's why I said Re really really hope that this game comes out before Call of Duty 2024 Like do not drop this game at the same time as Call of Duty 2024 If it's not good if it cannot come out before then you guys got to do it after but think about it If they do after Call of Duty 2024 then it's like Joe over at that point Nobody would really care because 2025 is the year of GTA 6 and guys recently we ended up getting a ton of new leaks about GTA 6 Click on this video on the screen on the left though. This video is on my secret second dairy channel that most of people most people don't know yeah i have a ufo channel but not talking about it this is a third channel <laughs> check it out and i'll see you right there